What's going on, y'all? No, it's been a while since I done the PlayStation 5 news episode. I was supposed to do one last week talking about the PlayStation 5 event. I will be talking about that. Reason I couldn't do it. I live in Florida. West Florida area. I got hit by Hurricane Sally, so I couldn't record. I had no internet. I had. I would have recorded it on Friday when I got power back, but I'm still cleaning up the uh, debris in my yard, tree, tree limbs and stuff. So that's why I haven't been recording in a long time. So yep, I'll be talking about the PlayStation 5 uh, event that was last week on Wednesday. I know it's late, but hey, I couldn't record because of Hurricane Sally. But yep. And we're talking about, as you all see by the thing, leaked, em like, leaked images of the actual PS5 console. And it's realistic. And we're going to talk about the height, how deep the console is, and the how wide this console is, and also some rumors going around. Some rumors going around, like usual. So make sure you smash that like button, and also comment down below what y'all think of the PlayStation 5 event. It was actually pretty good, I would say. And let me know down below if you guys got your PlayStation 5 pre-orders. I still haven't got mine due to the internet. I was about to pre-order mine, I'll tell you the story about that in the video, and like always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I post videos just like this one for y'all to watch. It's good to be back, survive Hurricane Sally, and let's get the intro started, see y'all in the video. Yeah. yeah. Nation King Clutter 9000 here with a video for y'all. This is episode. I forgot what episode I'm on, but y'all see in the title already. We're gonna be talking about some rumors, some what I think about the PlayStation 5 event, and talking about the PlayStation 5 images. And y'all see by the Images on the thumbnail, i not good at editing to put it in. But yeah, I'm back. I already explained in the intro why I've been better recording videos. If y'all skip that, then reason why I couldn't record is because I was hit by Hurricane Sally, which was a Category 2 hurricane that hit where I was at and uh, lost power, lost internet. So I couldn't record. Had no air conditioning, so it was very bad. Still cleaning up debris, like branches and stuff from that. And I'm okay, I'm good. No injuries in my family at all. So I was safe and stuff. So yeah, that's why I couldn't record. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about first thing. First thing I want to say is about the PlayStation 5 pre orders. Holy crap! That was the most stressful time I ever had. I actually had my PlayStation 5 in cart. Since I had no internet, it was kind of hard. It was very slow. I hit place my order. Said, sorry. We are sold out at Best Buy. The last second I was gonna hit that. Okay. Place my order and stuff. Put my card number and all that stuff and shipment stuff. Sold out. How's that? That would that pissed me off, but 
If Spider Man is going around, I know. PlayStation 5 pre orders will come around again. Target, it's already sold out again. It happened at 2 a.m. I was up at 2 a.m. waiting for pre orders. Almost got sold out. So I'm gonna have to wait a while, but I will get the video games. So the PlayStation 5 pre orders, you already guys know, it was supposed to start Thursday, but it started during the event at GameStop, Target, and Walmart, which was so stupid of the retailers to do. They should have waited until Thursday, have it okay, clean. Not stressful pre orders on Thursday. Nope. It was crazy. Really? If y'all are here at. My parents are watching Game of Thrones, so sorry about that. But yeah, it was hectic. Didn't get my PlayStation 5 pre order enough, but hopefully the next round I will. And, um. Uh, Really? This episode is crazy loud. But talking about the PlayStation 5 event, it was epic. It was awesome. Spider-Man Miles Morales gameplay. Getting that day freaking one. Day one, I'm definitely going to get it. Then we saw some other ones. We saw more trailers. For our games are gonna be go out launch, which is Godfall. Saw a little bit of it. Uh, we didn't see any of the other games like Horizon Forbidden Horizon 2. I will just say it. Horizon 2. Uh, that's what I was gonna say at first, and I try to remember the title, but I forgot completely. Out of my mind, there's so much stuff to talk about. We didn't see that, but yeah, the event was awesome. But the one thing that got me so hyped it was Miles Morales that was so exciting. Demon Souls and all the rest of the launch titles, Godfall, Don't Make Cry 5 Special Edition, playing as Virgil, was pretty fun. But the one thing at the end of the event. After showing all that stuff, God of War Ragnarok. That that's the title that is is hoping it's the actual title because Ooh, when I heard the voice of Kratos from God of War 4 PS4, I knew straight away then symbol. Just to let y'all know. Literally tears would come down my face. Like, I was that happy and excited to see the God of War come to PlayStation 5. Freaking amazing. But I will get every launch title soon enough. Sad Boy, A Big Adventure, soon. Destruction All Stars, soon. I'm not worried about those, I'm worried about Godfall, Miles Morales, and Don't May Cry Special Edition. And Godfall. That's all I'm worried about. But ne the next one we're gonna be talking about is they announced how big the console was gonna be. And this is the most biggest console that PlayStation ever made. Ever made. It's the height is 15.4 inches tall. That's a big freaking console. That's better than PS4 Pro. Bear in my PS4, I don't have the Pro. My PS4, that's huge. It's 4.09 inches wide. Like, that wide. And how deep it is? 10.24 inches deep. I don't know if they're talking about how deep the this thing is from the front. Like, it's like that. I don't know. I don't know what they mean by deepness. I think they mean deep into, like, uh, on your shelf 
thing or how deep the air vents are into the console. Who knows? But that is what I call a monstrous console. That is huge. I better not be copyrighted on that music. I'm not going to say that. That's why I'm yelling real loud. That's so I don't get copyrighted on that music in the background. But the one thing is, uh, rumors, 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 rumors. The one thing I was doing every episode is talk about rumors. These rumors, one thing that got me a little bit excited was to hear there's going to be another announcement in December of a PlayStation 5 game that wasn't shown at the event. First games that pop in my head and it was Bloodborne Remastered. My Bloodborne was awesome. Either Bloodborne Remastered or Bloodborne 2. If they do make a Bloodborne tune, I will buy a day one. Straight off. Like, take my money. Bloodborne was actually awesome. Or SOCOM. That would be awesome to see it come back to the PlayStation 5. It hasn't came around since PlayStation 3? That's, that's a long time. Or the one thing that's been freaking going around for rumors ever since they started. Silent Hill Reboot. When are they going to freaking announce Silent Hill? Like, come on! Like, Silent Hill is a big franchise. Freaking awesome. One of the most scariest. I mean, Resident Evil. Until Dawn. But come on! What do you got torches with Silent Hill? Or Infamous. See, Infamous Second Son was actually really good. But if they make a second Infinite Second Son, that would be awesome to end the series. Pretty good. But one of the biggest rumors going around is Metal Gear Solid Return to the PlayStation 5 as exclusive. But it's still rumored. It Some people say it could happen. Just... Just relax, it's not confirmed yet. If y'all a Metal Gear Solid fan, chillax. Soon it will be confirmed. Soon there will be a Metal Gear Solid game. Metal Gear Solid 6, that will be awesome. I'll be excited for it, but take your grand salt and just calm down. It's not confirmed yet. Just wait until it's officially confirmed. Be ready. Hopefully that will be like 2021 or 2022 for Metal Gear Solid. That would be awesome to see Metal Gear Solid come back. It would, but who knows. But, I don't know. All these are rumors going around, but one thing that's getting me excited is Bloodborne, Sound Hill, and Metal Gear Solid. They're actually saying they might do the first one, a Metal Gear Solid Remastered, or they might do a remastered collection of one, two, three, and four. But I don't know about five. I don't know about that. It will be a long one. It might take a lot of your memory, but hey, Metal Gear Solid is actually a good series. But yeah, one thing, this is the final thing I'm going to be talking about in this video, is everyone's freaking out. Xbox players are freaking out, saying they got Bethesda. But Sony, what I've been hearing, they are not phased by Xbox, Microsoft buying Bethesda. Sony... They know what they're doing. PlayStation, they got something that will make the roof blow off your house. Like, your head will explode 
or what they're actually, what studio they're gonna be buying. I don't know which one they're gonna be buying. There's so many good ones out there, but Sony, they will not hit a home run and take out what Xbox bought, Bethesda, and make it in the past because Sony is dominating the console wars. So. That's all I'm going to be talking about in this episode. We can comment down below if I miss any rumors. And also, let me know if you got your PlayStation 5 console. And if you all got your Series X or S, we can comment down below. I will be doing uh, Xbox uh, Series X. If you all have Xbox players watching this, I will be doing another episode of that. But this PlayStation episode series for only PlayStation 5. So, yeah. And also, smash that like button. And also, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, to get notified when I upload any new episodes and update y'all on new information about the PlayStation 5, rumors, all that stuff. That's so y'all can be set. For 2021, this year or 2022. So that's all I got to talk about, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace out.